Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF uh, Dynamite, or Might. I am Jim Ross, here at Trini Kwan, and with Wade Barrett. And today on Dynamite, or Might, we're going to see the ongoing saga between Efren, between MJF, known as Maxwell Jacob Ford Fordman, and Drew McIntyre, Jim Ross says. And you know these two, you know these two have been going back and forth for some time. You know, it's still a young fight, but there's still a saga between each other, Jim Ross says, between MJF and Drew McIntyre. Well, that's right, Trini Kwan said, MJF, he came to the TWF back in January. He won the camera cloudness. He had a team with The Miz, who became one half of the TWF team fighters. The Miz shifted on him, and that was the end of it. Then, after not choosing either to fight Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar, went out to Brock Lesnar and then lost. Well, that might be true, uh, Trini Kwan, but I'm sure that MJF or Maxwell Jacob Fried Friedman is going to beat Drew McIntyre after he gets his body shield, body watcher, body keeper, Lord Bones, or fellow Bones, you know, on the same goal. Well, I guess it's really not much of unlikeness between that and when Brodus Clay was the body keeper for Alberto Del Rio, when Brodus Clay was first on NXT. It wasn't much of unlikeness for Madcap, how Madcap Radrick Morris is a body keeper for Happy Bear and Corbin on SmackDown now, so I guess it's not much of unlikeness. Or when Alex Riley was being the body keeper for The Miz a long time ago, when The Miz was on Raw. All right, MJF goes. The first thing I want to talk about is how I, well, more like how did how did we, how did my body keeper here, Lord Bones, or fellow Bones, lose his match here? Now, last rampage or run-in, Drew McIntyre shamed us. You see, and I know some of you folks out there look down on me because I came from JCW and MLW and, you know, NWA before I went to AEW. Will I be in WWE one day? I don't know. It depends if I have my falling out with Shao Kahn or whatever. But whatever, I don't care. So, Drew McIntyre seems to think he's so great because he's a former two-time WWE heavyweight fighter and a former WWE NXT heavyweight fighter and a former WWE Ender Landl fighter and he's a one-time IW heavyweight fighter and a one-time EPW heavyweight fighter. Well, that might be all good and all, but hey, don't forget two-time WWE Raw team fighter. But at the end of the day, I done I done a lot of good things to myself. So I know I do a lot of good things myself. So here's how it's gonna go. I want Drew McIntyre and I want him out now. Is that right, MJF? You want me out, huh? You fought so let me see if I understand this, MJF. You start something with me, just like you start something of everyone. Only unlike CM Punk, which you end up beating him, you couldn't get that same upside on me. You see, unlike CM Punk, which he hadn't been wrestling since 24, 24 between while when he left out of the E or was fired or whatever the grounds is, you got the upside on him because he hadn't been wrestling all that year, all that time. But at the end of the day, you 
thought that you could just get the upside over me, like you did to Chris Jericho, like you did to CM Punk, like you did, like you thought you did to, uh, what's his name, Dean Ambrose, what you think you did to Adam Page, and all that other shit, huh? Well, here's a big unlikeness between me and you is, is that I could care less about your shaming, your scathing, your guilting, and your sliding that you love to do. You love to come out and say everyone else is guilty of this, they're guilty of that. Hell, I'm guilty of that, and you're guilty of it. So why don't you shut up and wrestle or fight? You talk about how you're this great wrestler who wrestled in JCW and you, re you wrestled in ZCW and MLW and NWA and East AEW. You're this great wrestler and all. You went for all the small wrestling businesses and you still are in the small wrestling business. But hey, no, because my friend here, my body keeper, Lord Bones or fellow Bones, is going to fight you, not me. You see, I'm wearing my whatever, my whatever they call this thing. I don't know the name for it. Some kind of sheet. But anyway, I can't do that. Because unlike you, I got steads to be and I got steads to go. Yeah, and soon Passover is coming up soon. You know, what we Jewish folk do to unlook God, you know, you know, unlooking God, keeping a firstborn child for not being slain. Yeah, the same time we Christian folk have our have our have our holiday on looking the death of Jesus, you know? Whatever. That's not about worship and stuff. It's about me beating you up. Hey, Drew McIntyre. What are you? Supposed to be supposed to be mad cat Roger Morris wannabe? Uh and MJF just knocked him down from behind like a weakling saying oh he's not ready to wrestle and when he did that that just took fellow bones the lord bones down with him jim ross said what a creep what a heel what a bully jim ross said yeah training Kwan said mjf or maxwell jacob fordman would behave as a bully a heel and a creep he doesn't care he likes to spend a lot of time, Jim Ross, scathing, shaming, and guilting, and slighting others for that kind of stand, mindset, or behavior, but does not like to be scathed, shamed, guilted, or slighted for his mindset, stand, or behavior. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Wade Barrett says. I'll tell you one thing. When you're MJF, you get the right to scathe, and shame, and guilt, and slight others. You don't get scathed, scathed, shame, and guilt, and slighted when you're, when, you're, when you're MJF. Well, wait a minute. Lord Bones, or fellow Bones, Way Barrett, so he's going to do the thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lord Bones, or fellow Bones right now. He just got Claymar kicked it right down by Drew McIntyre, too. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here it is. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. Well, it seems that Drew McIntyre has beat fellow Bones or Lord Bones here on on ramp on dynamite or might here, and some folks might not be too happy with that, but it is what it is. Jim Ross says. So, let's see, Jim Ross said, what went wrong before, you know, what went wrong here. Well, Jim Ross said, Lord Bones, or Fellow Bones, the, stand, the stead holder for Mad Cap Roderick Morris, or whatever, Brodus Clay, when he was, uh, for Mad Cap Roderick Morris, and him being a body, body shield, or body keeper, bloody watcher, for, um, you know, for Happy Baron Corbin. Well, you did say Bro. You did say Brodus Clay, because yeah, Brodus Clay was a body shield. He was a body shield and a body keeper. One time for uh, 
Alberto Del Rio and Brodus Clay was on NXT the first time. And also when Alberto Del Rio went to TNA W, went to IW. Uh, Jim Ross says, well I can tell you one thing. Jim Ross said MJF can scave and shame and guilt and slight everyone he wants. But at the end of the day, his man, at the end of the day, his man lost the fight. His man lost the fight here today on 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 dynamite or strength or might. You know, Trini Kwan says, "Say what you want to say, but it did happen." Well, I'll tell you one thing. Wade Barrett said, "I know MJF, and he'll never give up." You know, he's gonna keep on fighting. You know, MJF. Some folks might want to say, oh, he's nothing more than an offshoot of The Miz and Happy Baron Corbin and all of that stuff, you know, but he can get it done. You want to, yeah, he can get it done. He might be an offshoot between The Miz, Happy Baron Corbin, and, um, and, uh, Ethan Carter, Ethan Carter Free, say what you want to say, but at the end of the day, he can get it done. And he will get back at Drew McIntyre. Well, speaking of that, Gorilla Monsoon now, Jim Ross, says going to be talking with Drew McIntyre. I'm right here, Jim Ross, to be talking with Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, I just saw you out there. You beat MJF's body keeper, Lord Bones or Fellow Bones. Yeah, well, it's kind of like my hang-up with Happy Baron Corbin and Madcap Rod, Redrick Morse. You know, they behave the same way. Yeah, MJF might be an offshoot between The Miz, an offshoot between The Miz, Happy Baron Corbin, and Ethan Carter III, or Free. But, at the end of the day, I don't care. So, I took care of, I took care of MJF, or Maxwell Jacob Ferdman, or Lord Bones, or Fellow Bones, whatever you call them. I, Claymore kicked both of them, last star day and I Claymore kicked him here today on Wednesday so if he wants to keep up the shit I can keep it going you know I'm not the one that has to take melatonin at night to get a good night's sleep cause he's always cause I must cause he's always thinking about me are you talking about MJF Maxwell Jacob Fordman yeah I must be in his I must be in his head you borrow fee you know fee free then Okay, he's always worried about me. Well, let me tell you something, MJF or Marcus or Maxwell Jacob Fordman. Scave and shame and guilt and slight all you want. But you have but you're gonna get scathed and shame and guilted and slighted back. Alright? I beat you, deal with it. Well, that's my talk with Drew McIntyre. Back to you, Jim Ross. Well, thank you, Gorilla Monsoon, for talking with uh, Drew McIntyre here today on Dynamite or Might. Looks like all the time we got here on Dynamite or Might, I am Jim Ross for Trini Kwan and Wade Barrett. We hope you like Dynamite or Might, and we'll see you tomorrow for Impact or Smash. Sometime tomorrow, uh, we will see you sometime tomorrow for Impact or Smash. Because we're going to get our lighting working on, get our lights, our lighting worked on tomorrow. So if they shift the lights off, it might be some time before we can do the films. See you later.